Wow. Yeah, it's been a really, really long time since I last recorded. It was like, what is it, a week and a half? Oh well. So, I'll explain the reason why after we go into Zephyr. It was the winner in the voting thingy. So, after this video, it shall be closed and everything else will be taken for things I do second, third, whatever. I think Magma Cone is currently second, so I'll do that next. Off to Zephyr. I actually kind of like these cutscenes. They remind me of Bugs Bunny and Looney Tunes and stuff like that. Tunes. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The Breeze Builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Oh, goody. So, my absence. Yeah. Um. I think this is probably for the atheist crack I did earlier in the LP. Oops. Yeah, and apparently whatever this god is, he has a really weird sense of humor. Because every time I started recording, I would get a legion of telemarketers attacking me. By legion, I mean five in ten minutes. How did that happen? I missed that. Ow. Oh, it begins now. Anyways, yeah. Oh god. It was just so frustrating, and I ended up pausing and restarting so many times that I just went, you know what, screw it. And I tried this three times. Well, I just got in touch. Let's go for it, and more. This ain't working for me. You think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. Oh, it's not that hard, baby. So yeah. And oh, this was not at like dinner time, which was which is um, prime time for telemarketers. This was at 2 p.m. Talk, wanting to talk to people that weren't even home. I wasn't even supposed to be home. No! I do not want to have my credit card information. I don't want to have updates on equity. I do not want information on car insurance because I don't even have a car! Jesus! Okay, I'm done now. I just really had to get that out of my system because I really hate telemarketers. Does anybody know what the point of it is to them? Has anyone actually sold anything through telemarketing? Oh, screw those birds. Okay, now we can actually talk about the level. Zephyr is a pretty long level. I don't particularly like it. As I said before, it's just so really tedious. My cousin Running Star, this is actually his favorite level. He can't he probably likes it so much because I suck at it and he's just awesome at it. I saw him play it when we were younger. He can go through this entire- Nah. Listen. What the- Thank you. He can go through this entire level with only getting hit one- Um, he doesn't he can't even- He doesn't even get hit. It's like the Matrix. While- well, Even though I don't die a lot during Zephyr, I just kind of get hit a lot. How many times have I been hit already? Five? Yeah. Alright. Thankfully, there's a lot of fodder around. Which I quite like very much. This is also the first level well, that, you s that you're going to see in this LP. That uses cannons. Another level that uses it is Breeze Harbor, which... Yeah, I probably could have done before this. Oh, 
Oh, another comment about how this, how long this level is. This is actually a really one of the largest levels in the game. <sighs> Stupid bird. Most levels in Spyro are pretty small, and usually take about. Well, at this point, they'll probably take about. Ah! Didn't see that. Eh. Sorry. They'll probably take about 20 to 30 minutes. This will probably take me about 40 to 60 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, there's also four orb challenges. They're bo there's actually two individual challenges. And there, there's double parts. And we're just going to get the talisman right now. It's really fast to get the- Da! Ah! Stop it! Stop it now! Okay, hold on. I have vengeance against the bird. Come here, bitch! Yeah, that's right. Wow! What an explosion! Sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh, yeah. Uh, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. Remember that name, the breeze builders. I'm not sure how many people figured this out. It's not particularly hard, but the breeze builders are the bird things there. And they are and even though you're helping these little blobby dudes right now, you actually um when you go into Breeze Harbor you actually help the birds, the breeze builders, from a land blubber invasion. So I assume that's what these guys are called. So Sparrow is a double agent. Dun dun dun. And yes, that is a little brown spotted elephant thingy. While I'm here, I might as well bring them over here. Because this is. One of the one of the double challenges. Really long and really annoying. So let's go talk to this guy. My name is Little Bo Peep, and I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? Okay, buddy, this is why you invest in border collies. And I don't know why, but there seems to be a lot of gender confusion in this level. You have a male Bo Peep, and you have a well, at least a male-sounding Juliet, which shall be seen, um, yeah, later. No, that way! That way! That way! No, you're going in! Yeah. For those who don't like cursing, it's best to probably leave this level right- leave this LP right now. Oops. Because... I'll probably be cursing at these creatures because they're just so annoying. I have no idea why they're called cowlicks. They call they sound like cows, but I don't know. They look like elephants to me. Oh, something else about names. Why is this called Zephyr? Like I already said in the previous part of my LP that. Um, Zephyr is what you call the western wind. As is Chinook is a northern wind. A Shiraco is a western is a, a southern wind. And etc. etc. Why is this called Zephyr? <coughs> Run away! Okay, hold on, I have some vengeance against birds. Another level that's like this is Fracture Hills. I have no idea why it's called Fracture Hills. Is it because you have to have to break stones and everything? You can't get me, you stupid birds. So yeah, just my little mini mini questioning on naming of levels. So the other ones are pretty straightforward in the other games. Move it! I love doing that. Alrighty. 
when you shoot them with this super flame, they go boom. I like these things. Go boom. I have a very simple mind. I'm one of those people that giggle insanely while watching Mythbusters. Okay. Why did I just go around like that? 